Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for the uh, end of your uh, January, going into February. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know look out for, work on here. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, uh, take a look at your other placements here. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video. Um, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Um, so, uh, so if you if you want a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Pisces in love. Tell me about Pisces in love, all of our energies for Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here for the um, end of their January going into February, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. All right, we have the strength card here, Leo energy here and temperance here, Sagittarius energy. So... Um, what I'm getting here is that I feel like during this energy, someone here is being really patient or has been really patient here with somebody, okay? Uh, so I feel like someone's patience is being tested here. Strength, Leo, energy, temperance, Sagittarius, energy. We have, we have wind, okay? And then we have the six of cups. One of the things I'm getting here is like, whichever the wind blows regarding the situation that you've been in here, I just feel like you're just going to go with it. Like, if it's ending, fine, great, it's ending. You know, we're going to be together, great, we're going to be together here. But there is a situation here, a past situation that might be coming around to you, okay, with the Six of Cups here, okay? Seven of Swords and the High Priestess, my, 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 my. You know, with wind here, you know, I'm getting Ace of Swords energy here with that wind. So I feel like, you know, you know the truth. You know the truth that someone here that you're dealing with here has been, has not been very honest here with you, has been very deceptive, has kept a lot of secrets. And I feel like this has really test her patience here. And I feel like you're about to blow a gasket here. I just feel like you can't deal with this person anymore here, Pisces. Okay? Seven of Swords here in the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. Tell me of a strength card. Why is a strength card here? strength we have the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces we have temperance here and the king of swords Leo, aquarius gemini i i feel like your patience is, is being tested here i feel like with the king of cups here and the king of swords here i feel like you're about to tell someone off here pisces the uh, wind we have the ten of wands yeah this you're done with this you're letting go of the past here you're letting go of the past here this is someone that you've been dealing with for a very 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 long time it seems like a back and forth in and out sort of thing here. Six of Cups here and the Eight of Wands, okay? You might be receiving communication with this from this person or that you're basically communicating with this person, basically telling it like it is, telling you how, uh, telling them how you feel, telling, you what, uh, telling them what you think. Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords here, High Priestess here and the Four of Swords. Yeah, what we have here is I feel like this is it. You're disengaging from this person. Uh, seven plus three is ten. You're ending things with this person. You're done with them. They really tested your patience here. I feel like you you were really patient with this person, but I feel like the more that you you know held back and not said anything, I feel like you know it's like the tea kettle ready to blow. You know, a volcano ready to blow. It just seems like it accumulated and accumulated and accumulated, and they just feel like someone here is about to lose their shits. Okay, so uh, tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What it takes a lot to get a Piscean mad too, you know. So um, yeah, I just I, I just feel like someone here is about to blow a gasket. Okay, so tell me about Pisces here, the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What are this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces for the end of their January, going into uh, February, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces.
four of pentacles here and the two of cups. We have the fool here and the ace of pentacles. And then we have the eight of swords here. And oh my, 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 my. This person's a bad, bad, bad person. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just feel like this person is very troubled. Okay. Four of pentacles and the two of cups. I feel like this person does not want to let go of this relationship. I do feel like you have a strong soul connection here with this person. I do feel like this person you know, does want to somehow reconcile here with you. They want a new beginning here with you. But I just feel like you're not going to be sucked up by that, by their vacuum cleaner again. I feel like this person's trying to suck you back into a dark hole. This has been really mentally draining and mentally exhausting here for you. Emotionally exhausting here for you here, uh, Pisces, okay? Uh, the devil, Capricorn energy. It could be a situation that every time you hung out with this person, after you hung out with them, you completely felt like wiped out. Okay, uh, devil energy with that Capricorn. No, uh, Capricorn energy with that devil card here. Four of Pentacles here in the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups here in the Page of Cups. The Fool, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, uh, Eight of Swords, and the Four of Cups in the Devil here and the Lovers here. This is a toxic relationship. I do feel like we have someone here that's coming in. You have to speak with this. You're receiving a lot of communication with this per from this uh, from this person. God, this person's annoying too. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Wands here. You know, I, I just feel like you know. It's one of those things I feel like this person doesn't even know what they want either. Even though they're telling you that they want all these things, it's kind of like within themselves. They're really unsure here. Four of Cups here and the Lovers here. Seems like they're looking, they're definitely looking for another chance. Okay. But I just feel like, like, like I said, I feel like someone here is about to lose their shits because I feel like someone here has been, like I said, someone here has, someone's patience has been really, really tested here. And I feel like you've been really kind and really generous and really nurturing towards this person. Uh, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, by doing that, you know, you're not going to change this person by doing that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just feel like you, you just came to a realization that you were, were basically wasting your time. Tell me more. Outcome and advice here for Pisces regarding their love situation here. What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, and work on here? For the end of their January going into February here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Star. We have the Ten of Cups here and the Empress. And then we have the Ace of Wands here and the Four of Wands. So what we have here is I feel like, you know, this is something that you're not going to give to anymore. You're going to focus on your healing. You know, you're going to focus on your, um, you know, your happiness here, you know, attracting and manifesting here. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, there's that energy of like, yeah, I'm just going to take it somewhere else. You know, this is a waste of time. Um, you know, I just feel like you're taking off and just sort of like finding your freedom and your independence again with the Knight of Wands here. It's kind of like, you know, going to tell it like it is, say it like it is, and then just escape here. Um, Aquarius energy with the star card, the Ten of Cups and the Empress here, Libra Taurus energy. There's just no growth, growth and expansion here. You just can't manifest what you want with this person here, okay? Uh, because it's just, you know, I, I, you just keep getting the same shit over and over and over again. The Magician in the Four of Wands, Gemini Virgo here. Tell me more. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles and the Hermit Virgo energy, the star card here and the Page of Swords. This person's really annoying. No matter how far you run, somehow this person finds you. No matter no matter how like how like you know, you know blocking this person is not even working here. Somehow this person's finding a way around this. Whoever this is that you're dealing with here, this person's quite technically savvy here. Uh, I would not be surprised if, if this person knows how to hack into your computer, hack into your phone. Okay, uh, Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here, the Empress here, and the Five of Swords. Yeah, so you don't want to play this game anymore. This person's really annoying. Yeah, very, very, very annoying. This person cannot take a hint or can't take no for an answer. That's really bad. Uh, the Magician here. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Wands here, and the Wow, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. This person's trying very, 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 very hard. I mean, if this person wanted things to be better, they, you know, they would have taken the uh, initiative and taken the necessary steps to change their behavior. Yeah. But this person didn't do that. 
Okay, so Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.